I just learned uh, if I get 50 subscribers, then I can go live. That might be easier. So, this house came with no glass windows, but I've added glass to each of the windows. So, that's pretty cool. You can actually see what's out there. I like it. So, to close the door, you just tap on it. Here's my garden. Here's my other garden. This is sand that I took from the beach. It takes a while to get to the beach, but here's a hole I dug in the water. And you can swim down here. A little cave. And, uh, let's see what's down there. Sometimes the camera view is a little funky to mess with. I had to find, get my way, uh, you know, make myself a way to get out. There's some little stairs underwater. See, these are kind of floating. I don't really like that because they're on top of the decorative uh, grass. But I learned that the hard way, so I might just break everything down. I have to empty things in order to break it down and then to place it again. So everything's floating on top of the decorative grass. So I probably won't use the decorative grass much, but I do have a bunch here. And a bunch here. And I, here's the first staircase I've ever made. And I put a ceiling in here. Like I said in the last video, so that my girlfriend wouldn't keep falling in here and getting stuck. She's such a newbie, but she's not really into gaming at all. So I'm on my cell phone. And just showing you some holes that I've created. I've been following Viennium everywhere I go. That seems to be the way to do it. And I followed traces of Viennium all the way through here. And all the way down into here. So let's back back out. You can place these lights. You can take the lights by tapping on them. And then by pressing and holding in your toolbar, you can get new lights. New light options, let's see. I think it's in this one. Let's hit all and see. Oh wait, that's what's affordable. So you can click on that and then it puts it up into your bar where you can use it again. Oh, I just dropped it over here somewhere. Where are you going? Oh, there it is. So if I tap on it, then I can place it wherever I want. Endlessly. Let's just keep it. So instead of accidentally tapping on something, I'll click on my tool. Let's see how dark that is. So that I don't tap on other things. But now I'm going to highlight it again. Now that it's at zero, it doesn't matter where I tap on the screen by accident. I'm not going to place anything. So I made some stairs uh, there. I've dug a hole here. There it is, that's the one I was talking about. And then I've like made a bunch of platforms over here to basically just to prevent, or just to build the, the ceiling in here. That's why I made these platforms. And I was mining a few of the walls too and whatnot, just having fun. So I was starting to mine and I found this like little passageway. I'm like, wow, what's this? I just made a big loop. So I thought that was pretty funny. Here's my original staircase, like I said, it's pretty rudimentary, like, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, it's pretty bad, but my new staircases are much nicer, let's just go look at one, I have one right over here, see I have something marked, oh, that's, that's not a marker, what this is, is uh, I'll take leaves and place them underneath myself, in order to get up high towards something. Let's scroll through the menu bar, place some leaves. I'm gonna place it right under my feet and I can actually lift myself out. So that was one of the first tricks I learned. And when my girlfriend was in that hole we were just in, she was gone or, or fell asleep. So I was over there like placing blocks under her feet to raise her up to get her out of the hole. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. And, uh, yeah, you can get really high that way. Um, 
one way to exit if you don't have ladders or things like that. So this pink marker is my other staircase that I made. It used to be the hole up here. And then I would drop in. This was actually the deepest hole I've ever seen. Uh, I actually fell in there before I knew how to have light. And before I knew how to go into the menu and click uh, home on information, you can hit, hit the go button. I couldn't find it and all I could, I went through all of these options and I found like um, blueprints. Oh yeah, I forgot you have to hit affordable to show all. You have to hit affordable to show all. It's a little confusing, but I was placing blueprints and stuff that looked like this. Uh, didn't work. Oh, anyway, they're like just highlighted lines to show you what the blueprint's going to look like. And I was placing them to help light up the area, and I finally got back to the top of the hole. It's such a deep hole. I built all these platforms eventually. It took a while to build these platforms over the edge. So I could drop down in there in like a spiral form. Go in that platform to that one, to that one, to that one. Anyway, I ended up just making the staircase and it's a heck of a lot easier. But if you run down staircases like this too fast, you can get hurt. But I'm bouncing my head off of the ceiling so it's slowing me down. And I've gone so deep, it's crazy. Do, 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 do. Oh, I fell down this. Okay, so here's a like a spiral staircase that I made just to go deeper and deeper and deeper. So I got like five stars deep. Whee! And then I have to like shrink down into this. Well, uh, crouch, I should say. I'm crouching now. Now I'm standing up. And I've dug all of this out quite a ways down in here I haven't like used my tools to see if there's more ore let's try this is an ore finder all right. this one's kind of a more accurate one this one here is more general from my understanding wait I think Let's see, there's a different hallway I made. Let's go find it. Um, jump, jump, jump. It's hitting my head on everything. It's kind of narrow in here. Jump, jump. Is this? There it is. So I made a little hallway. Oh, yeah. I started to... Thin ore or something. Somewhere. So... But it's kind of vague. Let's go to the more accurate one. Let's see if we can pinpoint it. It kind of helps, though. But I've only, like, dug enough to find ore, like, a couple of times. And it's usually Viennium. But within the Viennium, you can find other things like tin. Now we're going to go back out the staircase. You can find copper, you can find gold. I just found cobalt for the first time. Let's go there next. Oh, there we go. This is the way out. But see, this ties in to the other staircase that we came down over there. And this is the original way that was really long. I was just coming down uh, next to. And I came down here so far, I found this cavern. And I was like, oh, wow. So anyway, then I dug that way and made all the stuff we were just in. So let's go out this. This was already pre-made, but I put lights in here. I was like, holy cow, what is this? And I was pretty excited. And my girlfriend was on the phone. I was like, look, we just found a new cave. And she wasn't impressed at all. And I was like so excited. I just found this. Look at this. This is all new. It's already hollow. What's going on? So that sound indicates that I'm in the settlement. See the little words up here at, underneath the, the menu bar there? It says, In Settlement. I named it Kevin and Asha's house. And so we should be exiting the settlement here soon. What? Oh, yeah, my bad. I don't know how far away it was. It says we're in the outskirts. 
And then right about now we're in it. Okay. So that's how big the settlement is. Up, down, left, right. I think it's like 40. Uh, oh no. I think I expanded it by 40. So I don't know how big it really is. I think it's like all, however many blocks that was that we just came up. It's to that corner where, where that pink is. To that light where that wall is. And way past that, that tower over there is the third corner. And then the fourth corner is down there where that light is on the left. Okay. Well, we may as well up our energy. Click on this well here. We'll hit drink. And now, if this is weird, it's kind of, it was weird for me, but... We can't drink again for 4 minutes and 52 seconds. And now 4 minutes and 49 seconds. And then the overfill, that's like if you let it... If, if you haven't played or drank for so long, then you can have overfill. Like, almost like a reward or something, I don't know. But it's not that big a deal either way. So, let's see. Let's see. What I like to make sure I have before I go too far away from the outskirts is food which I have here, and here, and here. This is worth 1600 these are worth 800 each. So the power is 15000 now. And then I like to make sure I have tools. I have a couple tools, and then some wood, some wood so that I can make lights as I'm digging. All right, let's go to the outskirts. Into the wild, it says. We're currently in the settlement. There's all my samples. It's like you're going to Menards and there's like, or Home Depot or Ace Hardware or whatever you guys have. This is uh, my trail. I'm following it right into the cave. So this happened to be the one of the, a deeper hole that I, whoops. Yeah, we just hurt ourselves. Anyway, this this hole and this hole were already here. And so, but I made the staircase that I'm on right now. And then I added this ladder. Because it's so deep. I don't know. It's pretty funny how you're like sliding down a ladder. That's kind of what I would do in real life. But it's kind of dangerous. Let me zoom in so I can see past this. So I just have this huge like tunnel basically. So from this point on, I have dug this tunnel myself. But right here, the tunnel existed. All of this hollowed out stuff existed. So I went to the lowest point. I fell down in here one day just to check it out. And then I just started digging down, down, down. And if you go too fast, you can fall and then you damage yourself. But you can catch yourself after a few and not get hurt. But you have to be really careful. Let's go fast. It's hard to go fast. Oh, catch myself. You only wanna you wanna you only wanna fall like two or three ladder rungs. And as you can see the ladder rungs don't even need to be attached. So that's one way to span out your ladder. So it takes less pieces. Unless you want it to look cool and have them all connected. Anyway, I made it down here and I dug everything out that you see. Now I'm crouching, that just goes to an end. It just goes straight on. Then I came over here and I found a pocket. And I... Oh yeah, look at that, it says unidentified ore. This is where I found uh, gold, so I've been mining gold here. This is like five deep. That's why I have this hammer made of... Uh, Brighten still, or this pickaxe, I should say. Because when I try to use this one, oops, it's made out of emberilium? Emberilium? I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's like red, and I haven't found much of it. I found it in the other cave we were just in. So I might go back there and. That's why you don't see much. Uh, 
like any pink stuff down in the other cave because I've followed those traces and that's what I've done here is followed this pink everywhere I go and uh, I'm just still following it in different directions see it says a pickaxe of bright and steel is needed to break five star super hard vanium a pickaxe is needed to break five star light stone so we're in the five star deep range and that's that's like hundreds of blocks deep i'm, I'm thinking it's like 300 maybe um because this is saying four star so I'm, I'm only good for four stars so i think four stars like right up here yeah, up, up here is four star but not here so we might as well break out some of this stuff up here. That'll save. See what I like to switch between hammers because or pickaxes because that'll save the pickaxe. So I'm not using the five star on the four star level. So hopefully it'll make it last longer because it's actually hard to find this this uh, material. Um, so with gold mixed with steel in the iron ore or in the ore. Um, factory equipment stuff you can make bright and still so mix gold and steel or uh no gold and iron and then when you mix um let's see when you mix copper and um, tin here's tin then you you get bronze so copper copper ore and tin ore to make the ingots and then the ingots make bronze these two ingots make bronze and then same with the gold you mine the gold down here you go make the ore or you take the ore and you go make the ingots and then you mix it with iron and that makes this one bright and still. So these are all the things that, and then when you click on it, it tells you where it's at. Anyway. Gotta click on my tool to work it. See all my pickaxes red? That's the, um, whatever the heck it's called, that. I can't pronounce it. Embrylium. Embrylium or something. I, I could probably Google it, but it's pretty cool how a lot of this is pretty accurate, like how it's deeper, it's harder, uh, how you're, fi you're, like, finding traces and veins. You know, that's kind of accurate in real life. You're following veins. Um, there's a lot of things that are, that are pretty realistic with the ore and, uh, the color of the ores. Just took out one of my lights, but that's okay. We'll put it back here real quick. So if I press and hold on this, I'll pick a different one. There we go. I'm gonna click on my tool again to use it. So I think it would be cool to get like some people together and like help each other build a world. I see there's a lot of worlds already, but I'm not sure. I think because I chose the settlement option, you can't fly in this one. But it would be cool to like share with each other like I have an excess of this and you have an excess of that. We can like share to make something or teamwork to build something so i think it'd be pretty cool so hit me up get, let's get some subscribers going get some followers and then we can do like live and uh you can teach me i can teach you oh there's some gold Dang, love it where was that i didn't even see it couldn't see it, it was too dark. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Dang it. Oh well. 
So we can use the... See, the, the pickaxe made for the deeper materials is always faster. And better. But you're using it. It only has so much percentage. See, on the top left it says 78%. Let's see what's down here. See, now when I get deeper, it's slower like the last pickaxe was that was rated for 4 stars. But if I went up to 1, 2, and 3 stars, it would just chew through this stuff like it was leaves or something. I better dig out my... Dig a, kind of a staircase in a way because I've dug deep and gotten stuck before because I've ran out of energy and couldn't get out so I, I always learn to like leave myself a way out now and if I don't worst case scenario you can just go into the menu here and click on I the I for information and hit the go button and if you do it too many times it makes you way gate sick you go back to your way gate they call it way gate and uh, so here I gotta make some more stairs here so I can go deeper Let's add a light. It's getting kind of dark. Go back to the pickaxe. See if there's any other traces. We're just following this vein here. All right. Let's see what we have. See, the reason I started digging here is because I found cobalt right above this. So I'm thinking there might be more down there. But no matter what, you always kind of want to, like, from my experience, you want to follow the veins, and the veins are just of Vianium. But what's cool about Vianium is you can take it to the mining, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? You can take it back to your settlement and grind it up in one of the pieces of equipment. The industrial equipment. And uh, you can get, it'll break it down into ore of copper tin and uh what's the other one copper tin and iron is what comes out of vianium so this is like a lot of hard digging for a little bit of reward but sometimes it opens up into a bigger pa another patch of vianium and then you'll find like other ores See, I'm at 13%, so I want to think about if I can get out here. Let's see. We'll take that one out. Yeah, you can double jump and get out all of that. Let's see. Let's add another light. See, and once you get dug out, then you don't need as many lights as frequently because the light will spread out further. But when you're, like, got your nose against the wall, it kind of you're kind of in the shadow, so it's helpful to have light more often. I can't go, something's blocking me. I love these. There has been a time where I did squeeze in a little hole like that and then couldn't get back out. And so you want to make sure that you're not forcing your way into things. But I did uh, add some blocks like under me because if you add a block underneath your feet, it raises you, it pushes you out. So that was kind of cool, I tried doing that, and it worked, but sometimes it doesn't work and you just block yourself in, and then you just have to, you know, go go back to the way, through the way gate here. And uh, let's just do that now, you can see what's, how that works. Go to the I, hit the go button, I, I can also hit, oops. I was, I hit the one below it. Let's try mine. If I hit home, it tells you all of the stuff that I have in the settlement. And the settlement size, there it is. 210, probably across in both directions and up and down. 210 blocks, that's pretty deep. I don't know how high it goes. It's, I'm probably like in the in the very center of that, basically, is my guess, so... 
I built a hundred cubes tall, that would probably be the edge of my settlement. Let's go back. Okay. Just avoided a sneeze. Alright, so I hit go. It takes me back to the way gate, but it doesn't refill my energy. See, at the top I'm still at zero. Um, so I'm just going to hit drink. That way I don't have to walk around all slow. X to close. But if you do it like twice in a row, like, it'll, it'll say, okay, if I click on the menu up here and I click on the I, it says way gate travel currently unsafe so if you use it again it looks like an hour timer on it or something if you use it again before that then it'll make you sick and you'll you'll drop your life down to like 50 percent for a while for like an hour or something so let's drop what we just found we're gonna mine some of this and take what's already been mined Double tap to get that in there. Take that, take that, take that. Wrong table. Okay, so this one. Take everything and then we'll just go over here. Let's drop some in here. That. We can take that. Well. Okay, let's just drop everything here. Oh, we did get some cobalt. I didn't even see that. Did you guys? Alright, let's just take this and take this and put everything together here, just so we can see what we have here. And we'll just drop the wood, this, or, well, the planks. I dropped the planks because it takes 20 planks to burn here, or it takes 10 wood. But with 10 wood, you can make 40 planks, so it takes half as many planks here in the wood cuttery. Cut, cuttery. Um, okay, well, let's see, let's drop some more stuff, clean out our inventory. That one doesn't need topped off, and neither does that one, so we'll drop it in the chest. Oh, didn't all fit, so let's go, eh, maybe here. Oh, dang, we broke a tool, so. That's alright, let's see, how are we doing on our tool? We got 72% left. Which is good. The hatchet I made out of bronze. That took a while to get that increased from the standard one. But I, I am saving like all the old broken tools here for some reason just to see like maybe I'll replace them to work up on the on the lower surfaces. Bronze pickaxe. Copper pickaxe. The I think the, the bronze is stronger. Yep. This one's twenty nine forty, and this one's thirteen eighty six. Bronze pickaxe. I don't know why it says uncommon, and sometimes it says common. Comment if you know. Twenty nine forty versus twenty eight hundred. So oh wood wood half. I might have made it with a different type of wood. I don't remember. Iron pickaxe, that's uh, 3,300. Stronger than the bronze one? Hmm. Yeah, so iron's good. Uh, this one's a common iron. Iron haft and iron pickaxe. This is an iron haft and a rare iron pickaxe, and I don't know how it was made, uh, because it's a r iron head with an iron haft, which is a handle. There's an iron, yeah, so why did it make two different ones? It's not like I picked that, but one's 3,300 and one's 2,600. I think you randomly get stuff, like plus five right down here. It's like a random, on the build it's random. Bronze is 3,600, whereas this iron is 3,300. And this bronze was only 2,800. This one's 2,900. This one's 3,080. 
3640. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why there's so many different ones. Common, uncommon, 3080. Anyway, that's where we're at there. What, what's this one? Okay, let's see if we can see what this one is. 45. So this is the uh, Emberlium. Embry. Embry. Emberlium. It's a uh, 45.56 total. So I think I'll keep that one. But I, if I take some of these ores, if I mine the ore and turn it into the ingots, and then I take the ingots and I take it to this uh, over here, to the anvil, then <clears throat> if I click on the recipe here, I can do tool repair. And it's basically the same as if you made the tool from scratch. I think it's just more steps to make it from scratch. If I remember right, I was kind of calculating it a little bit and comparing them. But the thing is, if if I'm trying to replace, repair this emberlium, I can use any ingot. But if I use copper, it'll give me like 20% or like 13%. If I use iron, it's like 20%. If I use tin, it's literally like 1%, maybe sometimes 2%. Um, so depending on what you use it's going to increase it more or less. The, the correct ingot will give you like 25 to 50% each repair, but you need two of the ingots to repair at a time. So sometimes I just have to repair with what I have, even though it's not giving you the most efficient, but since you have extra, or since we have extra here, you know, like, uh, let's see, I have gold. Oh, we don't want to use that one, but I have a bunch of iron. Let's try it with a couple iron. Mm, so first, okay, so then I have to double tap to get it up there. So it's only going to take two, and then it'll give me the option to take or equip. Take means it'll put it in my inventory right here. Equip means it'll put it in my hand, like actually use it here. And then to get it, I have to drag it back into my inventory or double tap to get it into my inventory like this double tap to put it back and then once it's in my inventory then I can come back to the anvil and hit you know put, put it up here again but if I hit take because I know I'm going to repair it again then I can just easily put it back up there so it's at 15% you can see underneath the tool it says and then in big black letters it says it's going to raise it to 29% so it says reduced repair due to ingot use well, let's just go ahead and do it one more time. So I hit take, and this is going to put it up to 44%. Meanwhile, I'm hoping to find some of the uh, Embryllium. It's like a red. So this time I'll hit equip. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can show you what Embryllium looks like. Oh, here we go. Yep. It looks like this, and the ore looks like this. See, I can build a pile. I don't know why you would do it, though. You cannot afford to build this. I, it might be a, an easier way or just as efficient to build a pile than it is to put it in a chest. But if I place it like they are blocks, I don't even know if I can place or as blocks yeah I, I don't know anyway then you have to mine it again like if you place other blocks you have to mine it again so i decided to put it in the chest so you don't have to mine it again so it tells you that it's found in veins within other terrain features through copper and iron can be found no or though it can be found in the near the surface other ores can only be found deeper in harder layers of stone this can be found in three stone heart uh, three star hard stone at depths of 160 blocks so that's at 160 let's let's look at how deep this one is cobalt 270 blocks so we're at five star so we you know we're 270 blocks deep that's pretty dang deep all right so let's try to find some hmm, what should we go for next what do we have? Yeah, we should make some gold ingots. So 
Let me double tap that. I'm gonna put it in here. But for the fuel, it takes a hundred leaves. Let's go mine some leaves. It kind of is hard on the axe, but yeah, what do you do? Oh well. We're gonna mine that whole group of leaves right here. any of these so I'll click on my pickaxe and it automatically chooses see it underneath the top left icon it shows my hatchet and it's at 26% it automatically chooses the right tool for the right job like if I'm using a shovel it'll automatically pick the shovel well, I don't have to switch oh I fell and hurt myself so see if I start digging because I have a, a pretty high quality shovel I can dig really fast my shovel see it automatically chooses the right tool for the job now let's try uh, well on block it's gonna automatically choose uh, the hatchet so see how it did that and it tells you the percentage of the ones you're using. And it's really fast because we're up at a, at the surface where it's uh, not dense. See, this, this is made out of uh, it, bronze. And this shovel is made out of imberlium. So they're both like really fast up at the surface. Or anyway, Let's see. We got 162 leaves, so... With those leaves by the way i don't think jumping and running is any faster than just running because i've tested it out a couple times but someone can tell me if i'm wrong i don't care i, I like to learn new things all the time so we're gonna double tap boom we're gonna have a gold ingot but see it took a while to get like by the time this is done i'll it'll be done by the time i go mine a hundred more leaves and come back so it might be faster just to mine a bunch of wood and then make charcoal out of it. We'll, we'll try that next. How about that? I think this video is too long, so we're going to end it here.